Hi guys, it's Lainey and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share another delicious recipe sponsored by Crisco Scratch Academy. I'll tell you more about the Scratch Academy later, but in the meantime, I'm going to share with you how to make three flavors of mini toaster pastries. In a large mixing bowl, add the flour, shortening, sugar and salt, and use a pastry cutter to blend it all together until crumbly. In a small bowl, mix the water and egg, and then add it to the flour mixture and mix until well combined. Next, split the dough in half and chill both halves in the refrigerator until ready to use. Since we're going to use it immediately, you're going to sprinkle some flour over your working space. Then roll out the pastry crust to about 4 inch thick and cut it into the sizes you want for the toaster pastries. I can never cut straight, so I used a ruler and a pizza cutter to help me keep my line straight. Don't forget guys, every pastry crust you slice, make a matching one to cover it. So now off to make the three flavors. So brush egg wash on the toaster pastries to give it a nice golden color and poke the top pastry crust a couple of times to allow the heat to release so it won't explode. So you're gonna spread some marshmallow cream on the bottom toaster pastry. Next, add some chocolate spread, then sprinkle the graham cracker pieces. Be careful not to add too much because sometimes less is more. Then take the top pastry crust and place it on the bottom pastry crust, using a fork to press around the edges of the toaster pastries to seal it. For the chocolate chip flavored, do exactly what I mentioned above, which is poke the top pastry crust and brush egg wash on the toaster pastries. So in a large bowl, you're going to mix the butter and sugar, add the egg, and you're going to mix until it's light and fluffy. Then add the salt, all-purpose flour, and chocolate chips and mix until well combined. Take about one tablespoon of the chocolate chip dough and place it on the pastry crust, and you're going to flatten it. Then cover it with the pastry crust and take a fork and press around the edges of the toaster pastries. For the cranberry flavor, all you need is one jar of cranberry jam, and you're not going to use the whole thing. And guys, do exactly what we've been doing before. Now bake the toaster pastries at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 17 to 20 minutes. So while this is baking, let me tell you about the Crisco Scratch Academy. The Crisco Scratch Academy is a virtual baking school to help and inspire at-home baking using traditional pie and baking recipes. Whether you're an experienced baker or making a pie crust for the very first time, check out the Crisco Heritage Kitchen site to discover new takes on traditional pie classics, baking tips, or find inspiration for your next baking adventure. So now let's take a look at our toasted pastries. And guys, these were so delicious. I took a bite when they first came out because I couldn't wait and I burned my mouth. But these were so delicious and they're easy to make and it's great to take with you to breakfast or eat for dessert. So don't forget to visit crisco.com slash heritage kitchen to find more baking inspiration. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you on my next upload. Bye guys.